good morning friends today topic is st sd sd dg shipping exit exam question and answer part 2 first question the security drill can be conducted option a on phone call option b on email option c as circular to all option d combination with other exercise such as emergency response exercise the correct answer is option d the combination with other exercise such as emergency response exercise so security drill can be conducted with other exercise other drills can be conducted together with it but what it was trying as per isps is trying to say it. Question number 22. Which of the following is an assessment tool? Option A. Hull expansion plan. Option B. The crew nationality. Option C. The ship owner. Option D. Existing personal identification document. The correct answer is Option D. Existing personal identification document. As I said in my earlier video that assessment tool controlling the authorized person or unauthorized persons and also access to the gangway embarkation disembarkation of the crew service engineer owner representatives agent is can be done by personal check and with this doc, id document government document such as passport license other card something like that so this is the identification document is an assessment tool. For question number 22, option D is the correct answer. Question number 23, which of the below space on deck and machinery space are most vulnerable for smuggling of trucks and contrabands? Option A, gangway area. Option B, emergency control room. Option C, cargo control room. Option D, equipment box. The correct answer is option d equipment box equipment box is nothing but a spare parts box for each machinery you will have it box it's like a suitcase metal suitcase metal box cupboard something like that so that is will be the place you can find the tracks because huge so many box so many stores so many spaces that you can hide their locations so option d is the correct answer for question number 23 question number 24 which of the following spaces in galley and dry stores are least vulnerable least vulnerable for smuggling of drugs and contrabands? Option A in the galley first aid box. Option B in the floor bins. Option C under or behind standard refrigerators. Option D inside fish or sides of beef correct answer is option A in the galley first aid box see that you cannot keep it because first aid box is a place where it is an emergency any wound any injury any accident we first we will open this box first aid box and it is available in the visibility location in the galley so there you cannot keep the smuggling that is least vulnerable place so option A is the correct answer for question number 24 question number 25 BOS is required when option A during every loading, option B during every discharge, option C duration during each port of call, option D when port and ship not on same security level. What is BOS? BOS, BOS declaration of security that is port is selling, telling I am in security level 2. And ship is telling we were in we was in security level one as per company. So now we are coming to your place. We will follow as per your requirement security level two. That is what the declaration of security. I am declaring what security from my side from the ship, and they will declare what security level from the port. So we always go with the higher security level. Okay, but the whole port cannot change to security level two if they are in the level one. And your ship is in already in the level 2. Like your ship is level 2. You are telling I am in level 2. So, port, please change to level 2. No. 
your port will not do they say okay you follow your level 2 in your ship and we will authorize to do it that is what we do in the declaration of security so that is the one dui stands for so for question number 25 option d when port and ship are not on same security level dois is given so option d is the correct answer for question number 25 Question number twenty-six: Who is responsible for submission of ship security plan for approval? Option A: Master. Option B: Port security officer. Option C: Ship security officer. Option D: Company security officer. The correct answer is option D: Company security officer. So. CSO it is represented by the company at show he will take up care take care of the, all the ships under his company fleet so he will take care of your approval of ss sp ship security plan so option d is the correct answer for question number 26 question number 27 who approve the security plan option a the flag state option b the port state option c cso option d sso cso is company security officer sso is ship security officer the correct answer is option a the flag state c the cso will take the information he made a plan and he go to the flag state the flag state is the one going to approve it the flag state is nothing but your register of the ship the registration of the ship where you done so they will approve then only you can implement it it is approved legally so question number 27 option a is the correct answer question number 28 sea farers with designated security duties are responsible for option a security training of crew option b security assessment of the ship option c knowledge of methods of physical searches of packages option d amendment of security plan the correct answer is option c knowledge of methods of physical searches of bag so this is a requirement for seafarer who is for the security duties you know how to check the baggage as i said in my earlier video what are the things to be checked so please check the video again so question number 28 option c is the correct answer Question number twenty-nine. Which of the following is a security record? Option A, record of safety drills. Option B, record of ISM audit. Option C, record of superintendent's visit. Option D, record of internal audits. The correct answer is option A, record of safety drills. For question number twenty-nine. option a record of safety drills is the correct answer so security record when you carry out this safety drill safety drill will also include isps drills okay so drills will give you clear information when it was conducted what was conducted all those things that is also one of the security the ship i have conducting the drills at regular interval and it crew are aware about the duties question number 30 Which of the below is not included in CSR record? Option A, the SSO name. Option B, the details of authority auditing the vessel for DOC and SMC. Option C, the details of classification society. Option D, the details of the bareboat charter. The correct answer is. option a the sso name ship security officer name will not be there in continuous notices record as i said it will have the details of the owner on the details of the charter details of the flag state registration classification society so and so will be there not a sso if there is sso whenever this chief engineer or master is changing you have to keep on updating getting new certificate for every four months that is not possible That's why it is not in the CSR, and it is also not required. So question number thirty, option A is the correct answer. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 31 कंप्लीट द सेंटेंस सिक्योरिटी ड्रिल शुड बी कंडक्टेड एट लीस्ट वंस एवरी ऑप्शन ए 2 मंथ्स ऑप्शन बी 3 मंथ्स ऑप्शन सी 4 मंथ्स ऑप्शन डी 5 मंथ्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी 3 मंथ एवरी 3 मंथ ISPS drill has to be carried out. So for question number 31, B is the correct answer. Question number 32, modern definition of piracy included one of the following. Option A, stealing from the ship store. Option B, pilferage from the crew cabin. Option C, pick pocketing. Option D, robbery. The correct answer is option D robbery. As I said, piracy also in not only stealing the ship, not for to sell the ship, they want to sell the cargo that is called robbery. So option D is the correct answer for question number 32. Question number 33. Which of the below space in galley and dry stores are most venerable for smuggling and contrabands? Option A on the hot plate. Option B, in the galley first aid box. Option C, in the galley utensils. Option D, inside fish or sides of the beef in freezers. The correct answer is option D because it is a hydrate hidden spot. Keeping inside the fish for traps or either side of the beef in the meter or in the freezer room you can hide it. This is a more common place to check for smoking items. Option D, 33 is for question number 33, option D is the correct answer. Question number 34. Which of the below spaces on deck and machinery spaces are most venerable for smuggling tracks and contrabands? Option A, gangway area. Option B, emergency control room. Option C, cargo control room. Option D, coffer dams. The correct answer is option D, coffer dams. What is coffer dams? Any between two tanks or between engine room and to the cargo hold or between any two DB tanks, there is a space called coffer dams. So this space is white space. It will be to identify any leakage of the cargo tanks or oil tanks, fuel oil tanks, lube oil tanks. If the oil will leak into this tank, so it will be identification indication. So there you can keep the tracks because is not a daily use tax and the space is also not filled up always it is a white space so here is a place you can find it out so for question number 34 option d is the correct answer question number 35 who proposes modification to the ship security plan option a company security officer option b port state control option c ship agent option d ceo the correct answer is option a cso so company security officer he will take the circulars a and also any accident any uh, incidents happen on the fleet or neighbor fleets or neighbor company other area the circulars he will find and he will check this can happen to our fleet if possible then he has to make a, some security plan for it so he made a pop modification so he proposed the modification and he made a modification and get try to get approval from the flag state that what he does question number 35 option a is the correct answer question number 36 most venerable place in cabin where we can find hidden tracks and contrabands option a inside radio or tv option b in cupboards or drawers option c in life jacket compartment option d in shower cubicle the correct answer is option a inside radio or tv as you see in the movies or other places they try to keep your tracks all those things inside the radio or the tv the location now it is led tv so amount of carriage of drugs will be less but it's like this slim tvs so option A is the correct answer for question number 36. Question number 37. Who sets the maritime security level? 
option A, MCA, option B, Flag State Authority, option C, Local Port Authority, option C, DOT. The correct answer is Flag State Authority. When the ship for the ship, Flag State Authority, the one will decide what security level. For port, local port, they will still set the security level for their port, only the port. The whole ship, the level, security level will be decided by the Flag State Authority. So option B is the correct answer for question number 37. Question number 38. The CSR is a option A record of history of the ship. Option B the record of ships matters. Option C the record of ships SSO. Option D the record of ships CSO. The correct answer is option A record of history of ships. So for question number 38 the continuous synopsis record the answer is option A. As I said earlier, CSR is a history of the ship. You can find it over there. Question number 39. The ISPS code applies to option A, cargo ships, option B, passenger ship, option C, mobile offshore drilling unit, option D, all of the above. The correct answer is all the above. The option D is the correct answer for question number 39. ISPS code applied to the port, terminal, drilling unit, all ships which can lead to cause threat to the security of the person. Question number 40. Which of the following is an assessment tool? Option A. Hull expansion plan. Option B. The crew nationality. Option C. The ship owner, option D, location and function of each actual and potential access point to the ship. The correct answer is option D, location and function of each actual or potential access point to the ship. As I said, what is a potential access point? It's like the potential access point is like the person coming to the location, it got threat to the person. Like air condition room. If you come, you put some chemicals to people to go unconscious or poisonous. The galley in the food he can put the poison in the stores he can put some poisons in this engine machinery space he can take the control and make a shift to bank collision as like a use like a weapon like 911 issue they can make it up so these are the potential assess point it has to be identified and it has to be protected so this is the assessment tool we have to take it to check for question number 40 option b is the correct answer okay friends if you like my video, please like. If you have any clarification, doubts, and any suggestions, are welcome in comment box. If you want to see more such videos related to marine, you can subscribe my channel. Thank you.